dear friends in this video i'm going to explain how to perform a geometry optimization using VAS code so content of my this presentation is in input files and submit the job and analyze the output file so VASP mainly records four input files it's namely in car file containing the calculation parameters the second one is post car file for containing the atomic position and port car file containing the pseudo potential of the atom and the k points and finally job submission script so lately we will analyze the output file first we will see the in car file okay so this is the in car file for VASP optimization so i made it for uh, you people you can use this file to optimize your system so this n core means n core e eight means so number how many cores you are going to use you from your supercomputer that is as minimum you can mention eight then system here you 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 keep any name uh, based on your system if you are, if you are using graphene you can use graphene if you are using mos2 you can use mos2 whatever you want a name you can keep so if you want to keep generally in car file for optimization you can keep for in car file for opt so i used to like this so then uh, then these are two important parameters for single point calculation on the dos on the better calculation this is very useful for optimization this is not that much useful so that's why we will give the false uh, that means right no wave car like this l charge also uh, right uh, don't write charge car so that's uh, then you see the i start one i start one means read existing wave function if it's there so otherwise it will start from zero so you uh, for safe you can use one then ISMEAR this is important parameter so this is Gaussian smearing I think different kind of smearing is there so basically everyone will use this Gaussian smearing only uh, the semiconductor insulator they will use zero metals they will use one so for safe side if you don't know what kind of metals you are using so then you will default use icme or zero then sigma this 0 0.05 i always use for uh, a geometry optimization so that um, vesp document suggests that that you uh, use 0 0.032 0 0.05 for semiconductor uh, and insulators for metals they suggest use 0 0.2 so uh, if uh, that's why if you don't know you can use 0 0.05 uh, generally i will use this one if you want you can also use this one then i charge so default you can use i charge too uh, there is no explanation so then i brown so this is very important parameter for ionic relaxation mm, we always use conjugate gradient algorithm uh, for the optimization then port team port team is also very important parameter I important uh, port team also very important parameter so i always use 0 0.2 so is uh, best calculation suggest and uh, document suggest use 0 0.5 if i brown 1 2 3 for ionic relaxation so if you use i brown 1 2 3 so they suggested to use 0 0.05 so for team I, I, I generally use 0 0.002 so generally I but we are using I brand 2 so you, you can use 0 0.02 is fine then ISIF this is very important parameters for uh, for ionic relaxation you use ISIF2 if you want to use bulk relaxation so use ISIF3 so if isif3 moves cell volume and cell shape and everything so then nsw okay 
NSW sets the num maximum number of ionic steps. Likewise, NELM sets the maximum number of electronic self consistent is, uh, step and NEL min is minimum number of electronic self consistent is steps. So ICM 0. So this is uh, basically the symmetry. So if you uh, basically in vast collection everyone use 0 only. The 0 means the symmetry will switch off. If you use 1, 2, 3 switches on the symmetry. Then I spin. I spin 2 for spin polarized calculation. 1 for non spin polarized calculation. So always use I spin 2. Uh, I spin 2 for spin polarized calculations and IDI pole 3. So this switches on the monofold dipole quadrupole corrections to the total energy and Lamas mix 4. Lamas mix 4 for D element and if you are using F block element use 6. So this is default no need to change add greater true. So algo use very fast. I used algo very fast. Select I algo 48 or MMDISS algorithm. This is the default parameter. You can use it yourself. Uh, no need to change anything for this parameter. And then the important parameter is this one EDIFF. Here 1 in 10 to the power of minus 6 to self convergence value in electron world and EDIFFG is uh, 0 0.02 is ionic um, ionic convergence so this is very important parameter and N cut this is you can find it from the port car in in tag of EN max 400 so you can see carbon atom in the port car file so then CGA equal to PE here uh, we use uh, the pseudo potential is a PBE and this also important parameter IBDW11 is determine the uh, DFP D3 method of Grimming with a zero damping function. So if you want, if you are using 2D materials like uh, graphene and uh, molybdenum selenide, tungsten selenide, whatever 2D materials, so one should use this DFP D3 method. And then one more important. Uh, parameter is the in-core that is the magnetization so to switch on magnetization uh, you should use L orbit 11 that then only you will get the magnetization density I will show you in the um, output file uh, to set a magmom here uh, um, our, our postcard file contains 72 atoms so generally uh, we need to keep 0 0.06 uh, per, um, unpaired electron then only you, the system will converge faster and you will uh, get uh, go converge faster otherwise it will take a lot of time to converge or well, generally everyone will keep 0 0.06 for uh, carbon this is the initial magnetic moment of the e chart if you are using transition metals like manganese ferrous fe and cobalt then you can use maximum 5 5 that means you are mentioning the 5 unpaired electron you have to give the maximum unpaired electron then, then only the system will uh, so software will estimate the exact um, unpaired electron of the atom the second one is second one is um, k point this is very important uh, k point file so to choose exact k point use VASP script code to get the exact k point for your system so I, I already uploaded video on how to select k point for your system so please please watch that video then I will show you the postcard file this is the postcard file for the system we are going to optimize so this is the postcard file this is the carbon the what 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 are the atom present here you can is appear here so number of atom will appear here here c uh, atom is the total number of atom is 72 these are the fractional coordinate of the system so if you want to see this structure you can uh, open vista open vista just 
drag it here you can see your your purpose curve file initial post curve file then port curve file this is the port curve file for carbon so this is the port curve file for carbon uh, here you, you can see the z valence this is the valence electron of this uh, atom so this is very useful for, to do the better charge calculation so and also i showed the en max 400 here this is the en max maximum this is en minimum 300 you have to you you can set with the maximum en energy cut of your system so here 400 is there you can that's why we are used in in car 400 then finally the important one is the submission script this is the submission script of the uh, submission script file you can use this file to submit your calculation to your supercomputer so this the we are using the VASP code is 641 this is licensed version so these are the four important uh, uh, four important in core and the final uh, fourth fifth one is the submission script to submit your calculation so after submitting this calculation um, you will get large number of uh, output file so these are the output files of the the system so here you can get your get your optimized system so if you use this is the concord file actually this is the concord the concord file is your optimized final uh, geometry of the, your system so you can use this system convert postcard concord to postcard to further analysis so i will drag it this is the optimized system okay then uh, uh, one more things how to get the total energy of the system for that you can uh, just open this vasp log file so this is the vasp log file so you will find here reach required required accuracy stopping the structural minimization so that means the system is um, reached uh, what you were mentioned that accuracy then stopping the structural energy minimization so from here you can after minimization you can see here the e0 equal to some energy this is the exact total energy of the your system so here is uh, plus 0 0.3 is there so that means you have to change into 667.21272 electron volt this is the value of your exact system so you can use this value for further uh, calculation binding energy absorption energy calculation whatever uh, you want to calculate you can use this total energy so one more thing i'm going to tell you that is a magnetization i already told in the in curve file the magnet magnum tag so this is the optima this outcore file of the system if you go to uh, down you can see here magnetization ex here is a number of uh, ions here total number of ions 72 this is the spd spd is uh, the orbitals so this is the total so if you see the total there is i mentioned 0 0.00 that means there is no spin electron in the carbon atom that's all so i will provide the download link in the description box you can uh, download this in in car file uh, you can start your uh, calculation thank you for watching my video then please like and subscribe and comment and share thank you for your time